we will need a lot of renewable energy. We will need to massively expand our offshore wind capacity. And in Denmark, we're doing just that. We now build an artificial island in the North Sea, 80 kilometers from the sea. With the increasing environmental crisis, it's the need of the hour to take strict actions and create environmentally friendly policies, even though many countries around the globe have started reusing plastic, and there are strict laws against cutting down forests. But environmental dynamics are changing at a higher pace, warning that we need huge changes whether in the industrial sector or energy production. Recently, many countries are facing serious flooding due to climate change as glaciers are melting and seawater is rising. Due to all of the above reasons, Denmark's government has given a green signal for its $34 billion energy islands. That will produce energy for millions of users without any harmful emitting products. Yes, you have heard it right. This Denmark project is the biggest in its history and is expected to solve Europe's power problem in the coming decades. So, when is it going to be completed? What's the location of this masterpiece and is this going to revolutionize energy production around the globe? If you want answers to all of these, then make sure to watch this video till the end. So hold your horses and let's get started. But first, if you are new to my channel, then make sure to smash the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you never miss any future updates about what's happening around the globe. Famous for its diverse culture and architecture, Denmark is one of the most beautiful places to visit. And recently, this country is on a mission of creating the world's first green energy islands that could not only solve Europe's power problem, but will ensure no further harm to nature. Everyone aware of the benefits of green energy for the planet will agree that green energy seems to be a key factor to the future of humanity and Earth. And that's the reason that many big sovereign states are now working on various projects. Recently, as reported, Huanghe Hydropower, Hainan Solar Park in China, is the world's second largest with a capacity of 2.2 gigawatts. South Korea is producing energy with the help of waves. The UK is currently supplying more than 500,000 houses with wind farms and Canada is likely to bring the world's largest green hydrogen plant to reality soon. But the Danes are taking it to another level by creating offshore islands, all dedicated to green energy production. So exactly where it's going to be built? Well, even though it's still not clear about the location of this giant project, it seems like it's going to be somewhere 80 kilometers to the west of Jutland at a depth of 26 to 27 meters. For the island to be built in the North Sea, it will not only serve as an ideal spot for exporting the fuel produced to other nations, but in the future. If this project remains successful, it can be expanded as there is a vast area around the location, occupying an area of 120,000 square kilometers. To your surprise, this huge project is equal to 100 Olympic-sized swimming pools. And in the first phase of the project, it is expected that this will produce enough energy to power 3 million houses. But do you know what's even crazier? The project's initial expected energy delivering capacity is still more than Denmark's households, as it only has 2.7 million households. And in the next phase, it is expected that it will produce enough energy that can be provided to 9 million homes. That means initially it will be able to serve 3 gigawatts, and with time the capacity will increase to 10 gigawatts. For sure, it's going to be the largest construction construction project in Denmark's history and will increase the country's total offshore wind energy capacity fourfold if the first phase is completed or sevenfold if fully expanded. If we dig deeply into the structure of the island, it is surrounded on three sides by high sea walls and only one side is open so that ships and other equipment can be transported to the island whenever they are needed. The idea of the island is just like a floating mass of land and it will be surrounded by a large number of wind turbines entirely producing green energy. The production of this island is a step toward Denmark's plan of completely terminating fossil fuel till 2050. As announced by Denmark's environment-friendly government in 2021, that from the leading oil producer, Denmark is going to phase out fossils and even will not allow the further search for oil in the North Sea. And this project seems like the next step the government is taking. Interestingly, even before this island project, 43.8% of total energy consumption in Denmark was through wind. Still, this island is of great importance for Denmark as the the island will be marked as a hub for housing 200 plus wind turbines and the high speed of winds in the sea will surely have an advantage. Moreover, these wind turbines are expected to be huge and reportedly can have a height equal to Seattle space. Even though it seems great, there are some questions for which we got no answers. For if Denmark is claiming that it will ensure no effect on the environment, but what about the effect
aspect of construction on life under the sea. But one sure thing is that this project can help not only in the production of electricity for homes, but it can help petrol refineries and other industries as a green fuel for ships and aircraft. But how is it going to happen? As we know, there will be abundant energy production as turbines are in the middle of the sea. It will be used to break water molecules using electricity through a process called electrolysis. As current passes through the water, water reacts towards the anode forming positively charged oxygen and hydrogen. And at the cathode, hydrogen ions combine with electrons from the external circuit to form hydrogen gas and oxygen at the other end. As the origin of energy in this case is wind turbines, so the whole process is considered environment friendly. This project is not only considered to benefit the environment, but will keep Danish industries in a pioneering position. As stated by Jacob Ostergaard, we were leading on land, then we took the step off offshore and now we are taking the next step with energy islands, so it will keep the Danish industry in a pioneering position. It's not new that a country can boost its economy through these kinds of projects, as Sweden is making money by importing waste and generating fuel through this. Same Denmark is keen to diversify and spread this island in surrounding areas, and will surely transfer its liquid fuel from islands through underwater pipes to its citizen, and will eventually export to nearby European countries. As stated by the climate minister of Denmark, Dan Jorgensen, 10 watts, when this is finalized, will be producing far, far more clean energy than we can use as a country, so it's part of a strategy to help other countries meet their targets. Germany, Netherlands and Belgium have joined the agreement that energy produced through this island will be supplied to these countries in the future. There is news circulating that the UK will be the next to join the group. Its completion will require a long time, but it is announced that this island will start working in 2033. Still, many are doubting these estimates, but the Danish government is quite hopeful that they will achieve the goal. But let me add here, it's not the only island Denmark is planning. Yes, you have heard it right. On the other side of Denmark, there is another small island under construction. According to reports, this small island will be in the Baltic Sea and will be joined by Bronholm. If you are wondering how much energy both islands can produce when combined, let me tell you that according to statistics and calculations, when both islands will run in the future, the energy production is likely to surpass 12 gigawatts equivalent to the capacity needed for the whole of Europe. Even though Denmark is already using wind energy for generating electricity, there are many rules and regulations for industries to minimize the harm to the environment. There are laws needed to be followed for flourishing forests, and now they are still building a green island. It proves how other countries should take a step on the road towards carbon neutrality. As stated by the climate minister, only by inspiring others and creating green projects can we do something to combat climate change in the coming years. No doubt if this project is going to profit in the future, then there is a possibility that we will witness several green energy islands appearing off the coastline. And this marks the end of today's video. Tell us in the comment, what do you think about the green energy islands of Denmark? Is this project going to revolutionize the concept of energy production? And would you say yes to a green energy project happening in your country? Make sure to give a thumbs up and share this video with your friends.